What is going on guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys today is my first full game gameplay from the predecessor alpha weekend. Now I will have a couple more of these videos coming up this week. So if you do go on to enjoy the content, do be sure to subscribe down below, leave a comment if you've got anything to say. But with that, let's give you a small summary because this build might seem a little whack the first time you look at it. First of all, the character I'm playing is Fang Mao. And the reason that this build is almost specifically on Fang Mao is because of his ultimates. For those of you who do not know, his ultimate is a small line in front of him, and it does some decent damage, but most importantly, it instantly executes enemies below 25% health. This is a big deal, because when you're routinely going up against Severogs who have 3,500, 4,000 health, that's a lot of damage to do in this game right now. And, well, you only have to do 75% of that damage. If you're facing a Severog with 4,000 health, you only have to do 3,000 damage before you can just execute them. Now you might be thinking, well, you can do that as Fang Mao anyway. It doesn't really matter how you build him. Well, it does sometimes because Fang Mao is generally somewhat squishy. He, Yes, he has a teleport. Yes, he has a shield. These both do not extend your life very much. His shield is relatively small. His teleport's relatively short. So this build is going to be basically full tank. I'm, I build frontline in this game, lots of health, lots of defense. You have a slow, you have a shield. Both of these help you stay in the front and help your team kill people. As long as you aren't taking 1v1s, you have someone else doing the damage for you, and you're there to make sure that your carries stay alive, and you're there to finish kills. The enemy tank comes up. As soon as you see them hit the 25% execute range, you are ulting them. They're out of the fight. Now you are free to WQ the enemy. I think this build is actually pretty good. The gameplay you're going to see is going to be kind of a stomp, but I think that the idea is to put this idea of these builds in your head. Next time you play Fang Mao, just know that this could be an option for a build you want to go. But other than that, guys, I'm going to let you guys get into it. If you do go on to enjoy the content, do be sure to leave a like. But with that, guys, get into this gameplay and let's execute some peeps. Also, no one knows the jungle start, so I like starting on this side. You get four camps into a blue buff, um, or three into a blue buff, depending on what your solo is doing. Um, hamstring is what I'm starting. This mid lane. Uh our mid laner's asking if he's supposed to start at a camp. Unfortunately, we don't. I wish that our mid laners did start at camps, because it would mean that I don't have to take 100 damage for every camp I clear. My sense it does feel high. If I go down to 800, that feels better. Maybe I've just been playing 800 for a couple days. And it's not as long as I thought. I won't know again until I open Valorant. Valorant will be the game that will tell me um, if I've been on 800 for a long time or just a couple days. See, that's a really important. If I solo, I don't even think I'd have to solo two camps for, for that. I think I... You'd carry me in Valorant. Ice Tech, maybe we'll play Valorant sometime. I'm not bad, but I'm not great. I'm like low gold is, is where I'm sitting in Valorant. Um, but I don't play it too much. Me, you, Safi. No, 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 no. Listen, if you're going to carry me, we got to get Safi out of there. All right. I can't get that kid. He's too far. Get wrecked. An enemy has died. Where did you go? He's so fast. An enemy has died. What the heck? There's not a ledge there. That was whack. I just I just hit a ledge trying to cut a corner. Um, let's see. Your plat one, plat three, yeah. Um, I got to I got to high gold in the beta, but didn't get past it. Yep, 
yeah, I got I got high gold in beta. Never got into plat, but that's okay. It happens. Okay, I'm gonna guess these camps are down. Oh, this camp is up. I'm just gonna see if I can yoink some of his jungle before I take blue and go back to my jungle. You and Safi are playing right now. Well, I'm I'm streaming some pred right now, so. I'd play with you guys, but, uh, no. We'll play another time for sure. Yeah, dude, I get it. Guy's got a big PP pee -pee and he thinks he can just do whatever he wants. Yeah. I, I just, whenever I've played with Safi, we just play Spike Rush. Spike Rush is honestly pretty fun. Like, I, I think a lot of people give it some hate because it's, you know, not normal game mode, but it's actually pretty fun. Okay, I should hit four off of this camp. Yep. I will. Don't play Valorant because there's no one to play with. Yeah, and I think it's one of those games where if you had a five stack to play with, it would get infinitely more fun. Especially because you can play ranked with a 5 stack. Oh man, don't don't let me die to this camp. Okay, I won't. Yeah, it's one of those games where if you had a 5 stack to play with, it would, especially in ranked, because it's just, it's impossible to play with solo queues. It really is. Okay, I want a little power to start, but then I do want um, a bunch of health. Maybe I just want a thunder. Maybe I just want a thunder cleaver. Because that's a solid amount of power, and it feeds into my health build. Because the build I'm going, Fang Mao's ultimate executes at 25%. So the build I'm going to go is super tanky, um, which should work, especially if, we, if we're playing double carry. Uh, because then more frontline means less people in our backline, hopefully. So, if I can get the tanky build going, then I can just frontline and play around the execute. And especially when they have a Severog, that Fang Mao's decent into Severog, just because when Sev has 4,000 health, I only have to deal 3,000 damage to him. Okay, I gotta go help. I'm only, well, I'm only four. Oh, wait, I'm everyone else is four, too. One sec, I can hit five off this camp. Uh, I use my shield there because I'm going to go grab this blue buff so my mana doesn't matter right now. And leveling up my hamstring is going to be really good. Just the slow is so nice and then the extra damage from leveling is going to be big. Okay, well, their thing is here, but... Let me just yoink my mid laner's farm. It's okay. He doesn't need it. It's like, is this kid gonna go on him? If I'm, I'm just staying close in case he. Yep. I'm not. I don't have my ult. The kid does no damage. Actually zero. Okay. How is there a Gideon behind me? I'm just curious where he came from, to be honest. Yeah, sorry. I'm just gonna yoink all of this kid's entire wave. I'm gonna take it all. He, what? I mean, what does it? What does our mid laner need farm for? Come on. Well, that's Sparrow for ya. Hey, give me your camp, kid. I want it. Dang it. I thought I could get to his camp before he, <laughs> before he completed it. Yeah, he saw Sparrow, and he's gonna run. Hey, Sparrow, you want some last hits, dog? You're kind of huge, but that's okay. She's level 7? She's like a level and a half ahead of me. Is she big? Oh, she's 3-0. and oh. Who's she bodying? It must be the Fang Mao, right? He must be their solo laner. 
Because this is Sparrow solo, and she just took an 8-minute tower. Um, which, an 8-minute tower isn't that crazy in this game. But she only took it because she's playing Sparrow, and she bodied this kid. Like, imagine trying dying twice within, like, 7 minutes to a carry. An early game carry. Given her early game's not bad, but still. Okay. There's the execute. Uh, now the more health I build just feeds into my build more. Bang Mouse Teleport feels a little uh, clunky just right when it activates, but the end of it feels really good. So, I don't know what to think about that. Let's see. I want the damage first, honestly. Actually, I can I, I can grab both. Might as well. I want to finish the Thunder Cleaver, and then I'll go into... Because it's also giving me health. And then I'll go straight into um, this thing. Because it gives 5 health regen, and even if the 15% increased regen only applies once... Getting 5 health regen every time I build it, along with 700 health, seems decently strong. Plus, every other item that gives you defense in this game uh, also gives you a stupid amount of health. Like, the one main basic defense item gives, like, 600 health. Um, there's another one that gives 450 or something like that. I mean, it's just kind of... I feel like health is so uh, ridiculously strong. Because it's on every defense item. If you built full defense, you would have 5,000 health. Easy. And base health in this game isn't stupid high. Okay, I can not I can walk over here, but there's not a chance I kill either of these guys. I might be able to save Murdoch. Okay, actually, yeah, if we don't have to fight, then I can run. Enemy died. Oh, Gideon. Gideon just picks up a double kill with his ult in middle lane. Nice. Sparrow says thanks. Did he save him? Is that what happened? That might have been what happened. He might have saved the Sparrow with that ult. Sev's only 5. I can kill him. He's 5 and half health. I can totally kill this kid. As long as I'm not on top of a ward right now. And as long as he doesn't hit, hit 6 on the next creep. He just hit 6 on the next creep. What the heck? I didn't move my mouse, dog. Okay, this kid's clueless. Okay, well, he just did not need to ult that, but that's okay. Dude, I didn't move my mouse during that ult. Green Bean, did that just... Did it play? Did that... That was nice to keep Sev alive. Okay, this kid's toxic now. Why is it only visible to me? Green Bean, did that notification play? I don't know. Play. Did it play? Okay, kid. Okay, kid. I get it. It's like drinking tap water. I don't know what you mean. Is that a good thing or bad? Okay. Frames. No, I need the blue buff. Okay, well, I just e juked that kid's ultimate. Use the hamstring, dog. Oh, what? What? Will someone clip that? Like, for real, will someone, for a bug? Because I, was, I wasn't on that wall. Like, you got, I, I, that wall shouldn't have stopped me. An enemy has died. Um, so will, will someone clip that so I can put it in their Discord? Because I wasn't close enough to that wall for it to stop me. Like, I, I was probably going to die anywhere, anyway right there just because I was out of position. But I shouldn't have gotten stopped by that thing. Okay, now we're going to move on to the health part of this build. The other thing is, is there's no, if you're, if you're a smite player, there's no, like, chin size item. So you're not getting, no one's hitting you for, like, percentage of your ult or anything like that. The only thing like that, like, they're Fang Mao is going to be able to execute me at 25%, but he's got to get me to 25% first. 
So we're going to build this, this health item, followed by um, uh, some defense and then some more health. Against their team, I think I want more ability defense, honestly. Like, they have a Murdoch, but I don't think he's going to be doing as much basic damage. Okay, well, that kid's just going to push it here, too, if we let him. Uh, oh, Joe, you're not modded, so you can't post links. Oh, uh, you can throw it in my Discord, or if you let me kill some kids, then I, I can mod you. Okay, well, he te look at the distance he teleported. He teleported, like, three feet. No, what? He's behind me? When did he get there? Was he there the whole time? You have clip but no link. Discord it is. Here, I can mod you, dog. Um, I honestly kind of don't know why you're not modded. Now you're modded for future reference? I want this. Right, is that the best one? It's either that or CDR. Um, we'll build that first. walls up yeah i mean you guys could see that too like that wall shouldn't have stopped me and real realistically i wasn't gonna get out there anyway but that wall shouldn't have stopped me um what can you do but it is an alpha like this is what that's for i'll go i'll walk by it again and see if i can get stuck on it again um because if i can't recreate it then maybe it was just a latency thing like maybe i was just lagging a bit and that was the reason but if I can recreate it, then there's definitely a wall there that's bigger than it should be. Yeah, I mean, I have 9 health regen a second right now. Which is a decent amount. Okay, where was it? It was right here. Yep. Yeah. It's like slanted. I'm, I'm only pressing W. I'm only pressing W. So you can see it is like, it's like slanted, but it stops. But then it goes out to there that you're getting stuck. Um, so it's, that's too far. Period. Which, I mean, yes, once again, that's what Alpha's for, is finding uh, random stupid things like that. Who, who's big on their team? Okay, they're Murdoch's big. Oh, secret. Oh, hey, guys. Don't mind me. Did you just jump on me? Oh, nice root dog. Okay, thanks for... Okay. That was... That's, that was a sale. I think that's the first time I've gotten hit by a, a sev ult that didn't kill me. How many games have I played today? This is maybe three or four. I just played a couple off stream. Ooh, no. I jumped through my Gideon portal. No, that sucks. I went to jump after him. I was going to jump and then teleport. And I jumped through my Gideon's portal. Um, on accident. Which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, we should do Bank Tooth. I don't know why I went to the wrong side of the map. I, yeah, this is maybe four today. Um, I've just been kind of testing, playing around a bit, seeing uh, what what seems to be working. Yes, Park Parker's mad. Is he? Oh, hey, easiest bang tooth I've ever taken. Minions just pushed tier a tier two and left easily. Oh, Parker is mad. Gosh, minions are gonna push that inhib at 18 minutes. Yeah, guys, my elite, my this game, my sparrow waited until eight minutes to take a tower, in solo lane. Uh, 
Um, yeah, our Murdoch. Is that our Murdoch that said that? I, think I just want to back, right? Do I have enough for this? Um, I have enough to get some other stuff. Yeah, I think once I finish this item, I'll base it. I'll be unkillable for about five minutes uh, while I farm up defense. Because this is just health. It doesn't actually give me defense. But while I farm up defense, I should be unkillable. It's 19 minutes and I have two, If I and I have 2,200 health. Um, and look at my damage numbers still. I mean, I'm still doing a decent amount of damage. An enemy has uh, and I have a slow and a teleport. Like, I can, I'm sticky. People, people, I'm not the easiest to get off once I'm on someone. So, I think, I think this build will work pretty well. Well, as long as they don't surrender or something. Pack middle. Yeah, I think we can take him in inhib here and then go for uh, orb prime. Because that slows for a decent length of time and I have a teleport to keep up. I have a shield that makes me tankier. My, sh I mean, it's only like 200 health right now. Can we attack Prime? We should go for Prime. I also want to go for Prime because if we end here, I don't get to do my build and I have to do it again. See, I kind of clap. Oh, my Sparrow was helping me. I was like, I kind of clap these minions. No, my sparrow was help was doing all the demajes. Hey, dude, this at least the squad is listening to some calls. I'm probably tankier than our narbash at this point. Okay, I tried to shield that, but I uh, couldn't. The one thing I don't like is that my shield has a has a cast time to it, and I feel like it should be instant, which maybe that's just like a, a quality of life kind of thing. I feel like it should it should come out faster. An enemy tower is under attack. I don't want them to end because I don't want I don't I want to finish my build. I don't want to have to do it again, or may, maybe I do. May, like if it's good, I want to do it again. But like I've done, I've finished two items, dog. But yeah, if I go in here and I want ability defense, um, basic, yeah, four hundred health. Or if I go for the basic armor, six hundred health. So it's just kind of, to me, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense on the reasoning that every, that all the defense items have ridiculous amounts of health on them. Our Gideon's low, no mana. Our Narbash is almost no mana. I guess, do you get mana regen off of OP? I'm not sure, actually. Gosh, Thunder Cleaver lets you clear minions so fast. They're trying to end. Why did we have to stomp this match? I'm not even, I'm not even the one stomping. Our Gideon's the one that's stomping people. Okay, that's the tier two and left. Hopefully they die here. Can our Narbash and Sparrow die? Can they kill the Sparrow? Okay, nice, nice. I'm gonna, this is my last wave I'm going to push. I'll step in his trap so he knows I'm here. Okay, they killed the Narbash and the Sparrow. That'll help. That'll help keep them in this game. I don't want them to surrender either. They just added a surrender option, and I don't want them to find out how to use it. I think it is it sla it's typing. It's either slash surrender or slash ff for forfeit, maybe. Do so much damage. No, stop. There, my Murdoch is just killing people. So is Gideon. Fangtooth? Okay, I can I can let him take Fangtooth. Do you think I can bait one of my teammates into dying to Fangtooth? See, dude, their core's at 50% already. I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try this build again, I think.
But I do think it's, I think it's, yeah, they, that was a surrender. Um, the, those minions didn't kill the core. That was a surrender. I, I think. It says core 0%. Maybe they just let the minions walk in. But, I mean, he he has as many kills. Our Gideon has as many kills as the enemy team. Um, so, I'm going to see. I, I, I'll see if I can do that build again on more than a 20-minute match. Or maybe a 20-minute match that's even, even. You know, like, that would work. 